trying to reconnect. Okay, you lie. Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the uh, morning uh, scripture study on this. What's today's date? Yeah. 11? 11. Uh, March. March 11, 20, 2018. Uh, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Hallelujah. We, we, we on live. Uh, so let's go to, uh, let's pray. Spirit of living Yah, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly as we know how. Trust it and believe in your word. Send a relevant word to just hear your children on the day that we may grow thereby. We trust you. We believe you. We thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy today. Second Timothy, right? The second chapter. Look what it says. Uh, 2 Peter... I mean, 2 Timothy 2 and 11. Look what it says. It says, uh, It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful, he cannot deny himself. Let's go to First Peter real quick too. Let me add Peter in on that. First Peter 4. First Peter 4 and 1. And look what it says. It says, for as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Let's read that one more time. For as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Right? Okay, Second uh, uh, Peter two, Second um, Peter two and eleven. It is a faithful saying: For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful; he cannot deny himself. All right, let's deal with it, y'all. Um, this is a faithful saying. This is a faithful saying that if we be dead with him, if we be dead with him, we're going to live with him. If we be dead with him, the word said we're going to live with him. And it says that um, if we suffer with him, if we suffer with him, right? We'll reign with him. And this is all if. If we suffer with him, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna reign with him. This is a faithful saying. I don't care what other folks teach you and tell you. I don't care what preachers say. Unless the preacher is lining up with the word, right? This is a faithful saying that if, if we suffer with him, right? It's if we be dead. So understanding... The death. Are you walking around here dead? No, you're alive. You can be spiritually dead, but yet alive. But if you're spiritually alive, then you're dead according to the flesh. And the death of the flesh does not stop you from walking around. The death of the flesh does not stop you from having evil desires. The death of the flesh is you willing to 
Live like you did. Y'all with me? Whew, that hurt. Working on it. Whew. Live like you did, though. That's the key. You're living as if you're dead. Which is the willingness to suffer. He went on to then say, if you, if you deny him, he said, he's going to deny you. People believe that denying him is uh, verbally speaking against him, which that is a form of denial, right? But denying him, in essence, is the unwillingness to suffer. To deny the Messiah is the unwillingness to be dead with him. It said we were dead. And Romans the sixth chapter say, if you're dead, he that is dead is ceased from sin. If you're dead, you can't sin. In order for you not to sin, you got to go against your evil nature in order not to sin. You got to reckon yourself to be dead. Are you dead per se? You could be spiritually dead, but are you dead? No, you're walking around. So it's a mental death that I know that if I obey my evil nature, I'm going to go against him. So it says reckon yourself or consider yourself to be dead. Willingly. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. In order for you to stop sinning, you have to willingly be willing to suffer because your flesh has cravings. Yes, it does. Has desires. Mm -hmm. Has opinion. Mm -hmm. And a strong one, too. Your flesh will run your life. It's been running your life before you got saved. You had your own little self-righteousness. You know, you, you what? Did you pray before you went to bed? Even though you might have been getting into bed with someone you should have been getting into bed with, but at least you prayed, right? That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you, you know, you're eating, you're praying over your food, you know, and then you resume right back to cussing, you know, lit something that you weren't supposed to be lighting. You lit it and smoked it, inhaled, exhaled. Probably, to, remember they used to blow circles? You know, little donut holes, cloud donut holes. Y'all remember that? But you got to reckon yourself to be dead. And if you reckon yourself to be dead, you're suffering. It hurts to walk around here dead. They get to do it, but you can't. Because you reckon yourself to be dead. You're not living after your flesh, right? You're not obeying your evil nature, right? If you deny him, Denying him is you're not baptized into his death. If you deny him, you want your life back. If you deny the death, burial, resurrection, you want your life back. You're not dead with him. You're going to say it anyway. You're going to sleep with him anyway. You're going to go and do what you want to do anyway. The best you can offer up under those circumstances is having a form of yachtiness but deny the power thereof. That's the best you can do. You, 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 you'll live... In hypocrisy, but those days is limited. When you turn your back on Yah, he'll reject you. When you when you knew him and you didn't re re respect him appropriately, you got issues. Satan's children can celebrate now because there's big celebrations going on for Satan and his children. It's the truth anyhow. Mm -hmm. It's celebrations going on for Satan and his children. Oh, yeah. You got pimps and players with a whole bunch of bread. Whole bunch of houses, whole bunch of cars. You you got you got worldly folks that is benefiting because they're into their flesh. They're obeying their flesh. They they're doing the the, the 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 works of the flesh. It literally takes suffering in order to have the appropriate relationship with the Most High. You have to suffer. You have to be willing to suffer with Him. 
In order to live this life, you got to suffer. Now, in, in 1 Peter, let's look at it, y'all. 1 Peter 4 and 1, right? Look what it says. It says, for as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise. When we get into real comparison analysis, right? True comparison analysis, right? Our suffering is comparable to his suffering. And the average person do not want to admit that. You got people running around here hollering, I ain't Jesus. Wrong name anyway, but... At the end of the day, I understand what you mean. When you say I ain't Jesus, what you're saying is I can't live like he lived. In fact, in your ideology, what you believe is you don't, you're not required to. What you like, and you'll say it. You believe that you're not required to live like him. He has a higher standard than you. Irregardless that he said the worst that I do, you're going to do and more. You're going to ignore that. You gonna you gonna go with Christianity? Uh, uh, this, this 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 we're only human doctrine. You you rather you're more comfortable going with uh, you know the you know you should not surely die doctrine that came from the snake. That's really your mentality because it takes a willingness to suffer. Whatever you do, don't bump the table, please. Do not bump the table. Don't touch the table, even on an accident, please. Thank you. No accidents today. Don't bump the table, whatever you do. Facebook Live, I'm asking them not to bump the table. There you have it. That's what I was trying to avoid. It got bumped anyway? No, the heels on the floor. No comment. What do you say to that? She's coming back. And then knocked down again. Okay, y'all. Now here we go with this. Yeah, the, I'll, I'll explain to y'all later, Facebook. Anyway. Um, it says, For as much then as the Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. You gotta arm yourself. You you gotta stop. Um, we're in the last days, where is um, a lot of weird stuff is happening, but it's a prelude to some real disaster. Some real like you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to recognize life as you know it in about ten more minutes. It's gonna be a lot of blood, a lot of death, a lot of darkness, a lot of mayhem, a lot of pain based on sin. And your unwillingness to give up sin, even false doctrine, running around here, Casper the Friendly Ghost, right? Folks don't mind having a form of yawliness and denying the power thereof. Based from a theological standpoint of being friendly, nicer people, you know, not smoking as many cigarettes, not cussing as much, not sleeping with as many people as you really like to. You know, just a, a cutback program based on we're only human, Right? That, that's the theological positioning of people. That's the mindset, right? And people really do not want to suffer. They don't want to equate to suffering. They, 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 that's just not, that's not in their program. That's not what they into. Try not to bump the table. Thank you, nephew. But that's not, that's just not what they're into. But you got to be willing to kick out false doctrine and arm yourself with the same mind that the Messiah had. Because if you read the scripture, it says, For as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself uh, likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. For as much then, meaning in comparison to. The same level that he was willing to suffer, not do what he wanted to do, all the way down to being in the garden, right? He in the garden said, I would that this cup pass from me. In other words, I don't want to go through this. I would just cut past with me, but he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. It's not the will of the flesh. How he felt about it. What he wanted to do. He kicked that out and let it go, and we got to arm ourselves with the same mind. Did you know serving him, like mother was just saying, I'm not dragging nobody. 
Did you know serving him is willing? Exactly. 100%. Mm -hmm. You try to raise your children, you know, and, and, and the word says if you raise them in there appropriately when, when they're old, they won't part from it, right? A lot of times we don't raise them in it appropriately and they see us do a bunch of stuff that's contrary to it and it wounds them and they walk away from it. But if you raise them in it appropriately, they see you doing it, leading by example, and you loving on them and teaching them, it can be embedded in them appropriately, and the anointing can be transferred from you to them. But when the transfer process isn't appropriate, then you raise them, they can't wait to get the heck up out of there, and they end up at the strip club. The stripper, not just paid to get in. They are literally the stripper. Because you didn't transfer it. But when you get to the point that you're willing to arm yourself likewise with the same mind, kick out false doctrine, arm yourself with the same mind with the level of suffering that he went to, and he 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 stayed obedient unto death. You got religious people that have a price. They do. People come up missing as soon as they get their woman and their man. It's true. Hit that bed. Give in to the temptation. You hit that bed and do. Beat your guts up good. You gone. Mm -hmm. Now now you can't help. Now you crying. You missing y'all. Have mercy on me, y'all. He did. When he became a human being, became a human being, died on a tree, lived a perfect example. He was willing to, to, to who for the joy that was set before him, endured the torture state, despising the shame. He hated his situation. But who for the joy that was said before him? What was the joy? Us. To rescue us. Everyone here don't want to be evil. And there are people here that's willing to fight to death against evil. Yes, yes, yes. But you got some people that ain't. Mm -hmm. And it's the majority too. The majority of the people is looking for a satanic doctrine that will promise them you shall not surely die. They're looking for a, 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 a gospel that say Jesus did it for you. They're looking for a gospel that ignores the Messiah said to that woman that was called adultery, go and sin no more. They ignore that. They rather talk in that story about how they couldn't throw the cast of stone at her. They want that part of the story. You know, and he said, he is without sin. Let him cast the first stone. They love that part. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it right there. They want to ignore the fact that he said, told the woman, oh, where's your accusers? Because they wasn't fit to accuse you. And a lot of people are not fit to accuse nobody because they scandalous as heck. And they rather point, turn that into a doctrine to say that everybody's scandalous. Mm -hmm. They'd rather, they'd rather say ain't nobody living it. They, they want to put a rock in everybody's hand. Well, the man that did not have a rock in his hand was the one that was qualified. And the only thing he told her to give her eternal life, the only thing he told her to stop doing it. Go and sin no more. And you got to really realize the guy that said that is the author of salvation. The guy that told her that, the only one that wasn't ready to throw a rock at her. He could have thrown a rock, but he came to save her. And he could throw a rock at us, and he came to save us. And then if you look at salvation, salvation came from him. So we're baptized in his death, so now we're supposed to have his mind. And the works that he did, we're supposed to be doing that and greater. We definitely ain't walking in sin. Supposed to arm ourselves likewise so we can do exactly what he did. Tell folks, go and sin no more like I'm preaching right now. Go and sin no more. And then give you revelation. Is it going to hurt? If you meet somebody you're attracted to and they're attracted to you and they're willing to shh and rub you down, it hurts to say no if you're lonely or horny. It hurts to say no if you feel like getting drunk. But y'all say don't don't pour another one. It's not a sin. It's not a sin to drink. Let's not get religious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be not drunk with wine, wherein it's excess will be filled with the spirit. It's not nothing wrong with drinking. It's something wrong with getting drunk. And you got to have temperance when you blow to him. If you drink a glass of wine and, and the next one gonna have you pee on yourself, out of character, cussing folks out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing stuff that ain't cool, then stop. Or if you're around people that think you're sinning, you got to have enough self-denial not to do it for their sake. Yes. Mm -hmm. you got to walk in the spirit of love when you really belong to him. you got to arm yourself likewise with the same mind. That he did that for as much then in comparison to. Quit trying to erase your perfect example. 
You want to call yourself a Christian? Well, you said it's Christ-like, right? Well, if it's Christ-like, then arm yourself like him. If he didn't do it, you shouldn't be doing it. If you're following him, how much are you following him? You messianic? You, 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 you follow the, the Messiah, rather? Apologize. <laughs> but you're a follower uh, 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 of the Messiah? Then arm yourself likewise. Yeah, it hurt. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. You go suffer to do what's right because you ain't cool. So I will say when I would do good, evil is present. The desire to do wrong. Folks get their check and go banana. Did you know there's folks that's backsliding right now because they don't give right? Mm -hmm. They don't know it though. Mm -hmm. They don't know they're not here because they don't give right. Mm -hmm. They think that, that that's nothing. Oh, you're going to be gone. You, you, can't, you can't live this life. If you don't give, you can't live this life. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about give right, not just give. Mm -hmm. Folks pat themselves on the back because they give, right? You know, you got to give right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to talk right. You got to be willing to suffer to do what's right. Mm -hmm. Whatever he leads you to do, and when you're not there, we think that he grade on a curve. The wages of sin is death. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Going back to the children of Israel, right? I ain't even got to go into who they are. I'm going to go into literally it's written what he did to his children. Right? It is written that they, his children were supposed to be the head and not the tail. I'm talking about the physical bloodline of Abraham. I forget who they are right now, right? For you funny, don't know the word folk, right? Forget who they are right now. The fact is, the matter is, he said, if you keep my commandments, you're going to be the head and not the tail. You're going to be above and not beneath. And your, your, your basket's going to be full. Your store going to be full. And whatever you touch is going to prosper. He said, but if you disrespect me and go against me and do not keep the commandment, you're done. Curse, your body going to be cursed. Y'all going to be the number one people dying. The number one people incarcerated. You're going to lose your land. You're going to be shipped to the four corners of the earth into slavery. And they're going to dog you out and they're not going to regard you being young or old. They, they're going to despise your babies as well as your elders. They don't care nothing about you. They're going to dog you out and going to kill you. And the 68th verse made it re reiterated and you're going to be shipped into slavery. You're going to be sold as slaves. And no man's going to rescue you. That's what it says, no man shall buy you. Your kids may redeem No one's going to be able to rescue you. He did that to his own children. People, people are painting a picture of him like it's inconvenience to suffer because they're under the influence of the serpent's doctrine. You should not surely die. They're under the influence of Jesus did it all so they don't have to suffer. He suffered that we don't have to suffer, they believe. When you're baptized to his death, you're arming yourself with the same servant that he did. <coughs> they don't know how to rightly divide the word, so they fan people to sleep, and people is trying to avoid suffering. Look at the mess we in. You got, you got, you got, you got Christians that's in the clan, rolling with a with a, a, a known clansman in the White House. Mm -hmm. That's right. Call themselves believers. They're going to justify. They're going to they they start talking about Obama. Just racist. Want to erase the fact of what happened to his children in his land. Or our children if you don't know who they are. If you don't know that Israel, I ain't mad at you. But you know that this place dogged the heck out of some black folk. You know that. without, And you're a Christian. You, 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 you voting on the... <laughs> you cold business, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just ridiculous, man. It's not cool. But you can do that when you're a Christian like that, right? When Jesus did it all, that saved a wretch like you, right? You're not baptized to his death. You're not armed to suffer. You don't, you don't have to stand with what's right. Because standing what's right will, if you stand with what's right, will cramp your style. It'll mess up your, your love life. It'll mess up your finances. It'll mess up who you can hang with. It'll mess up with where you fellowship. It will rearrange your whole entire life. It will mess your life up according to the flesh. 
But spiritual folks will see you're blessed coming and going. You're back above and not beneath. You're the head and the tail. The head now means you're the example. Not the tail to follow. You're not influenced. Wicked people are gathering of wicked people. Don't influence you. Y'all can talk all that crap if you want to. I'm not, you're not influencing me. I'm the head. I'm the boss around here. I'm not walking in no grudge. I'm not walking in hatred. I'm not getting involved in that. I'm not doing what y'all do. I'm the head. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I understand you hitting the mattress. I can hit it too. But I've armed myself likewise with the same mind. Folks' heads spin around. They get a little check, boy. Joker got enough nerve to peel off a $5 bill. Are you, are you joking right now? Man or woman of y'all star to death messing with jokers like you. Word teaches mother not the mouth of the ox that treaded out the corn. But you got some folks that just don't care like that. They're, 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 they're carnal. Huh. They're, they're, they're straight carnal. And, and, and it, 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 it's the truth anyhow. You got to arm yourself likewise. He said, look at here. He said, if you don't suffer with me, you'll reign with me, right? <clears throat> Second Timothy 2, he said, he said, if you deny me, what is the denial? The denial, when you deny him, you, you, you're refusing to deny your flesh. And the, and, and the unrighteous cannot stand in the congregation of the righteous. People leave the assembly not knowing that they got kicked out. <laughs> if you ask them, they did it. <laughs> no, he put you out. You just don't know it. He's a spirit. <laughs> you know, you ain't gonna fool you. A big, a big buff dude ain't gonna walk in and push you out. Big Mark ain't gonna grab you by the coat and pull you out and throw you down the steps. Say, y'all said do it. Big Mark will stand up and say, where you going? Why you leaving? Come on back. And you gonna say, nah. I'm cool. Nah, -uh. I just something about. Mm -mm. Okay, you've been rejected because because you don't love truth. And the word teaches that if you don't love the truth, we don't have a proper love for the truth. Yah will send you a strong delusion that you believe a lie. You ain't worthy of what he did. He came the whole. He went the whole hundred yard. He went the whole football field for you. He did it all. He taught. He taught it. He walked. He lived it. He was paid even when he was out of pocket. The woman out of pocket, he could have picked up a rock. He refused to hit the woman. He just said, go and sin no more. I'm having mercy right now. Everybody that belonged to me, come here, because it's finna get ugly as heck. This joker is finna get ugly. This joker is finna light up all the comforts of his life. I'm tripping off my internet right now. Please, internet is going to be the last thing folks going to be tripping off in about 10 more minutes. Folks talking about a, a vacation and all that. Folks getting checks and, and popping them and, and going by cars and all that. Getting spanked. Getting rubbed up and spanked and they giggling and saying, hit me again. Oh, it's going down. I saw a man with a beard and everything breastfeeding the baby on Facebook. I just said, woo, it's time to repent and do it quickly. Bro, man. Bro, man. I want that milk. Ooh. The times we're living in. And, and folk, 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 look at this. We're literally living in times where evil is good. I'm saying it again. We're literally, not it's coming, we're living in a time where evil is good. How I preach and teach is evil. It's out of pocket and it's offensive. And I'm judgmental as heck. And, and they, you know. They make moves to get rid of the word and everything. They sick of it. What, what, what good is evil to, 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 to preach against that crap that they're doing, the sexual perversion? You have a phobia. And phobia is a fear and a sickness. The problem is you because evil is good now. And good is evil. They didn't reverse it. So you got Christians that don't even know good from evil. <laughs> evil from good. You got, you, got, you got believers that don't know. They don't have a clue. They'll argue you down. You got folks that got cast with the fruity ghost. They just want to get along. They don't want to hear that Jesus means earth pig in Latin. Mm -hmm. And they can look it up. Yeah, I 
They're going to kick that information out because they've been calling on Jesus their whole life. Even if he show you, because I, I was merciful to you in your ignorance, you're going to stay ignorant? To him, the note of do good and do it or not to him, it is sin. If I reveal to you, quit calling me earth pig. Mm -hmm. Quit calling me that. Mm -hmm. Folks gonna holler Jesus anyway because they have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. And really, it's the suffering that come along with it. It's the alienation that come along with it. You start preaching against Jesus? You talking about Jesus? Yeah, yeah. The white dude. Caesar Borgia. The white dude. He, the Messiah was a black dude. Swallow it. It's the truth in the eye. What I'm wrong, I'm prejudiced for saying it. You mean to tell me a brother came here, came down 42 generation, born of a black man and a black woman, mm -hmm. lived his life, died for your sins. You took his children and, and hung them from trees and dogged them out. You find out he's black and I'm prejudiced for saying it? What the heck are you then? What are you? Are you kidding me? The Middle East is North, uh, 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 Northeast Africa. Yes. Am I wrong for saying that? that too. Can I not say it's the Middle East and tell you that it's Africa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wrong, huh? Oh, it don't matter. You got Hebrew black folks now saying it don't matter. <laughs> do, do truth matter? Do, do truth matter? I'm not saying that the black man Abraham, all of our father, including the Gentile, the ones that have faith. I'm not saying that he became the father of faith because he was black with hair of wool. I'm not saying that. It had nothing to do with it. It had everything to do with faith. So you heard me say it because it's true. Faith is the determining factor. But I ain't going to lie. I'm going to say that they lied. They painted a picture of him that wasn't true. And they changed his name. And, and Jesus in, 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 in English is Yahusha. Jesus is Latin. Just with a switch from a J, from, 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 from an I to a J. It's Latin. In the 1611 King James Version, it was Greek. Isu. It was an S at the end, but in Greek you don't pronounce the S. The S is for male names. Well, in Latin, you pronounce the S. Isus. You take the I off, put the J, you get Jesus. It's Latin. Because the phonics in English allows you to say Yahushua. Some people say Yahushua. Some people say Yahshua. Whatever flows your boat, as long as you got Yah in it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's evil to preach truth, to set the record straight, to go and study to show yourself a proof, find out truth, and then to say it because it goes against the wide road, it goes against the grain, even though the word teaches you to save yourself from this untoward generation. The generation is going untoward. So in order for you to save yourself, you got to go against it, go against the grain, and it takes suffering. Ministry going to be uh, 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 small. Your our mains, your agreement, your your agreement circle gonna be 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 far and in between. People gonna hate on you, talk about you, not like you. That's cool. Go on to them when men men when we speak good of you. <laughs> Go on to you when everybody like you because of what you preach to you. A sellout. That's all. You churchy. You like likes. You like crowds. You like to be popular. Folks singing for pop, for, you feel me? For, for, for pop, for, for likes, as opposed to uh, lifting up the most high. Folks rapping <laughs> to be a star, as opposed to magnify Using his name, though, what they think is his name anyway, but using his name and his fame to, to become famous, as opposed to lifting him up. David wasn't trying to get no dance contract when he danced out of his clothes. He was in love with the most high. But we got to arm ourselves. This is the climate we in. We in an evil climate with a dyslectic language. English is the most pitiful language on the planet. The original language is from, from, from right to left. English is exactly the opposite. The newest language is exactly the reverse of the original language. The transliteration, the terms they use. 
the days of the week, the days of the month, the, mo the months in the year. They're holidays, hella days, satanic play. They're liars. Christopher Columbus, he got a day. That joke, that pirate, that devil, <laughs> right around here, killed and raped. Got memoirs of him raping little kids and doing all kind of crap. And they got a day for this joke because this is an evil play. They switched the maps. Put Europe up at the top. Switch the map. The maps ain't even right. Shape of the earth ain't right. They liars to the bone. But you got to be willing to accept truth. If it's true, it is true. Patriotic jokers. And red stripes is, is for blood. The blood of innocent people. And your, your blood too. You just don't know it. You was a slave too. They cut a deal with you. They didn't have the technology to tear your head off like it. They didn't have the technology back then. A mob still can kill them slave owners. So they cut the, the white slave a deal. At least she ain't a nigger, they say. <laughs> <laughs> predatory, uh, 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 predatory loan practices threw them a bone and restructured their whole plan. Pitching black against white. <laughs> To keep because a house divided against itself can't stand. P promoting a, a racial war right now, right now. up under the leadership of Trump. They, they, they geniuses, genius devils. And it all worked because the people was wicked, having a form of yawning to die in the power thereof, and they're under the, the influence of the serpent. You should not surely die. Joker, you're going to die. You're going to repent or die. Mm -hmm. Now, I bet you that. Be under the influence of calling evil good and good evil if you want to. You can be Christian, Casper, the friendly ghost, all you want. You better study and show yourself approved. You better get uncomfortable. You're a little too comfortable. Christian joker running around with your nice butt. You hecka nice. There ain't no salvation in running around here being nice. You better cry loud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. You better tell the truth. You better call a spade a spade, and you better be willing to live it. Zip your dog on zipper up, pull your little dress down. In fact, add some more material to your little dress. You showing too much. Little lust bucket. You run around here causing <laughs> folks to be horny. Hey, lust Truth any dog, brother. You a lust. You are erection Ooh. magnet. You you causing a whole. How many erections do you cause a day with your little puffy butt? Christian, <laughs> spare the heck out of me. It's the truth anyhow. I'm going to tell you how y'all feel about it. He said your feast days are detestable to me. Have a form of yawliness denying the power of them. He said if you suffer with me, you got you to go against this stuff. You can't stand with this. You can't be down with this. Go get high. Go get dry. I ain't going with you. Been there, done that, went there, came back. I'm cool. <clears throat> He's calling us out of the darkness into the marvelous light, and you have to check yourself. Saul said they call him Paul, y'all. They changed everything. I told you. Mm -hmm. They call him Paul, y'all, for a reason too. But he said, he said, what I would do, good, evil is present. That's right. But he was honest. He said, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? He knew it was a body of death. His desires would kill him. He's admitting when I want to do good, I was doing evil. But he concluded there's therefore now no condemnation to them that who is in Yahushua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You got to stop walking after your flesh. You ain't the only one want to want to hug up and cupcake, get high and drunk, tell everybody what's on your mind, how you feel, talk crazy to me, I'll knock you. You ain't the only one feel like that. Those are the works of the flesh. Get your little check and spin your little scandalous, stingy head around. But a, but a player come by, you breaking bread. But when it comes to the things of Yah, you stingy up. You sit up and eat and eat and spin up the, the, the man of Yah's money, but you won't give a dime. What kind of joker is you? Run off on Yah with some female. Are you sick? You weak. You proven to be a devil. Better repent. I don't care nothing about your doggone feelings. Satanic as you is. He trying to save your life. Yeah. Bunch of sinners mad at this message. Joker. 
Man, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? You got to be joking, right? Sinner's mad now. Who he think he is? <laughs> I know who he is. And he's angry with the wicked every day. And it's time for somebody to tell folk. You got you to suffer to live this life. You're going to suffer. You're going to have to deny yourself. You have to take up your torture stake and follow him. If you're going to be with him. He to seek to save his life is going to lose it. You heard that? You think he played? Because you got a false doctrine to tell you that Jesus did it all? He to seek to save his life. Meaning you do what you want to do. You seek to save your life, you're going to lose it. Do you? Go get high, go hang with them, go do whatever the heck. Don't read. Don't watch the movie. Cuss them out. Lick on them. Kiss them. Out. Do what you do. Do, do what you do. But your time is coming. This place is, is finna change. These laws, man, these corporation games they playing with this fake monopoly money. Oh, things is finna change. They got you locked down on every social device you thought you had. And those that were smart enough not to get this crap, they got cameras on the streets and the freeways waiting on your behind. They ain't tripping on you. They got it so set up folks scared to go to a concentration camp. Joker, you going to be banging on the concentration camp though you get hungry enough. <coughs> Hunger Games. They, 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 they show you that movie for a reason. They're conditioning you for their reality. Heck, a calm with a suit on it. And there will be a new world order. And when it is accomplished, and it will be. <laughs> Bush in the bit. And it will be devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. You tell the truth. <laughs> a satanic truth. You tell the truth. And people's going with sheep or running with the course of this world as opposed to going against the course of this world. Well, at least you admit that folks is evil. You can't admit that, right? Mm -hmm. And so is you. Now, 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 this is where the buck stops. But your doctrine won't let you admit that you shouldn't be. Your doctrine won't let you admit that the Messiah said, be perfect even as your father, which is heaven, is perfect. You can't stomach that, huh? Because ain't nobody perfect, right? Who told you that? Your pastor? I thought he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told you that. The Messiah said, go and sin no more. But what he said, what is your pastor telling you? You going to sin? Mm-hmm, okay, okay. Yeah, you don't like this, huh? Mm -mm. Judgmental? Yeah. Mm. You got to suffer to live this life. You got you to grow up and walk in self-denial. Bottom line. Okay, how pretty she is. How handsome he is. Some folks are so lovey, both of them. She handsome and pretty, he pretty. Just everybody <laughs> can look good, you know. Just, mm -hmm. I just don't want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Lovely day. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. If you don't suffer with him, you ain't going to reign with him. If you're not willing to deny yourself, everyone is not willing. In fact, why does the road lead destruction? The average person is not willing. Some folks do well until they come to their spouse. They spouse unfaithful, they're going to be unfaithful. They'll talk a good one, but they, uh-uh. Takes too much suffering. Takes too much traveling, too much driving, too much drama. Folks got reason. Folks is too too sleepy, too, 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 whatever the heck you think. Look at this, and let me tell you this, real talk, too. You can be friendly as heck with the man or the woman of Yah. Just remember, they're not Yah. And they're ordained to be friendly, to try to... Be as friendly as possible. Not in, well, not in the office I'm sitting in now. I'm supposed to cry loud and spare not. But when this go off and I see you, I'm supposed to hug you and treat you and be kind to you. There's, there are terms for me to get at you even flat-footed too. But for the most part, it's love. But that don't mean Yah's loving you like that. He love you, but he has wrath. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he, he did say, he did say uh, uh, Jacob, I love, but he saw I hate. There is some folk that he hate. Yeah, because they represent evil. Mm -hmm. They represent wickedness. I know the state of mind that's taught right now is y'all don't hate. Well, you ain't going to be able to tell the difference whether it was emotional or not. <laughs> How emotional do we have to be if he send you to hell? 
saying he loves you from the bottom of his heart and sent you to hell. Okay, I roll with that. What difference do it make? But at the end of the day, his hate is judgment. It ain't got to be emotional. His wrath is judge. His wrath and how he going to treat you, how he going to deal with you, you ain't going to like it. And as a people, he said, Esau, I hate because Esau was a sellout. Esau sold his birthright because of his flesh. Because of the hunger of his flesh, he sold his birthright. When he cried, he wasn't crying about the birthright, the priesthood. The responsibility of the ministry mantle. He wasn't, he wasn't concerned about that. He was concerned about the money. The land, the authority. That's why he said, my brother has sworn to me these two times. Once for my birthright, but now he got my money. And y'all said, I hate him. In other words, I'm going to judge him. All my wrath is for him. All my wrath is for folk, those that put their hand to the plow and look back. All those that love their life. You notice he called the people of y'all. He said they hated their life. They hated their life. They don't get funny when they get a check. Get an income tax check. Talking about how good they learning and growing. Get an income tax check and get five dollars. Or nothing. Psst, are you playing right now? Are you serious? You think that's acceptable? Because it ain't nothing being said. You think you get away? So when you sneak and sin, you think you got away with it? You thought that for real? Please. It's not about man. Man don't see as y'all see. Man look on the outer place. Y'all look at the heart. Y'all see everywhere you go. The word teaches that the spirit of a man is like a candlelight on the y'all. Y'all see it all. <clears throat> Folks come up missing because you done ran into, uh, you know, some sexual organs. That's it. Now you gone. Okay. And your days is numbered. Right? He say repent and do it quickly. When you don't do it quickly, then your heart turns to stone. The Ten Commandments on stone. That's what the Ten Commandments is really about. His word on stone. Right? And when, when, when his word hit a stony heart, it, 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 it genders death. You're going to die. The Ten Commandments is going to kill you. What he said on a stony heart equals death. And you got people running around trying to make a religion out of it. <laughs> You're going to die without mercy. He that sinned against Moses, Mose. Die before two or three witnesses without mercy. Because there ain't no mercy in him telling you, come here, and you don't. Mm -hmm. And then he gave you a parable. He gave you an a, a example, right? He put his word on stone and gave it to Moses and give it to him. Because that's them. And tell them to obey it. And it's going to prove that all have sinned and come short. And now that you've proven that everyone has become guilty, right? Everybody guilty? Now come to me, all ye the labor and heavy laden, and I give you rest. I'm going to give you true rest. You'll find rest unto your soul by walking in the spirit. Have the faith of Abraham. Trust me. Believe me. Forsake this life and you'll find it. He to seek to, to save his life, going to lose it. But he to lose his life, going to find it. So he sent me today to let you know what it takes to lose your life. You're going to have to suffer. <laughs> You stingy, <laughs> horny, unfaithful, individual you, you're going to have to suffer. I got to give it up, you do too. Who the heck is you? If the Messiah had to give it up, who the heck is you? He was our example. You call yourself a Christian, don't you? Christ-like? Who the, Oh, you don't have to? Oh, your pastor told you you didn't have to? <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Jesus did it for you, right? So you keep your money and stay in the bed. Keep, keep playing for the gangster rapper and the bishop. You don't have to. I get it. You've been deceived. In my closing, he said, uh, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come by my name, saying, I'm the anointed one. I'm the Mashiach. I am Christ and shall deceive many. Many folks is going down the hole. When a bomb hit, it's going to blow up many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The food, the, 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 the chemtrails be hitting many people. But he told his children... He said, if you drink any deadly thing, it ain't going to harm you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
we still we still kind of like run around with lightweight a little healthy a little bit mm-hmm. little vegan burger or something we we kind of maintain it a little bit because it's by his mercy it's by his unmerited favor that we're surviving drinking the crap hey they medical system is whooped hey these jokers is devils boy they get your the dentist I'm going to the dentist man you either put mercury in the filling or you put fluoride they got this you know, you, you just can't win You're dealing with these jokers, right? They're going to either put fluoride in your mouth or they're going to put mercury, and all the students think it's good. They devils, man. They didn't jack everybody's identity. They, 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 <clears throat> and, they and they own some superiority kick. You a thief. You a thief and a liar. <laughs> But your day is coming. No wonder he hate Esau. Esau, <laughs> Joker, boy. No wonder why. <laughs> no wonder why, boy. That boy, the medical ain't right. The 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 system ain't right. The Constitution been gone. Folks don't even know it. You know I'm a bill <laughs> on Capitol Hill. Well, I, y'all remember that. Schoolhouse Rock, that, that joke yeah. gone. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's repent. Having a form of y'all in this ain't gonna help you. We, we need to repent. And in order to repent, you gotta arm yourself with the mind of the Messiah. Because he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Period. If you deny him, he can't deny himself. He's not going to. You can seek to save your life. Keep it if you want to. Do you. But your days is limited. You don't want it. Give y'all praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. I didn't plan on saying any of that like that, y'all. It's just blame y'all. Yeah, blame y'all and pray for me. Let's pray. Spirit living, y'all, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbles, we know how uh, your word is went forth. Uh, we pray that it touched your children, calling your children out of the darkness into the marvelous light and uh, rebuke the goats. We love you and we need you in these last and evil days. And we celebrate in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. If y'all want to uh, talk to me, if you want to, you can. Uh, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. We chop it up for a minute. You can agree with the message or talk bad to me, however, you know, whatever. But we love you. Thanks for chiming in. Be Baruch and Baruch Shalom.